back to my channel Chris here and I am back with a new video today I'm going on vacation and I'm so excited I'm so happy I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're going and you just you just have to watch and see where we're going and you will find out um I'll be taking you guys along with me so you'll see all of the nice juicy stuff we'll be doing see y'all I'm surprised I made it like it was so like I gotta tell y'all the story time. We get to the um, hotel, I'll probably tell y'all the story time, but it was a lot. like if you don't want to be bothered you could put do not disturb or you could request your room being made up um yeah so let me give you guys a room tour oh, they have a full lint mirror oh wait this is not a full lint mirror this is a door <laughs> oh this is a full lint mirror this is the door the full lint mirror is here nah that was mad funny a full length mirror that's a plus and they have a bathroom so this is the bathroom i think all the lights are on i could be wrong um it seems like there's a light here yes it is it's right here okay so this is the bathroom it's cute it's given it's modern um the mirror is big yeah, it's really cute. They give you these little stuff that I never use, but it's great to have. I have this right here. Towels, toilet paper, toilet, standard toilet, and a shower, rain shower, rainforest, rain shower, whatever it's called. The rain shower, um, it's a good size. Um, the bathroom is a... Eight out of ten. Let me see. Okay, so once again, full length mirror. Moving on, we have I guess this is like a closet area slash storage area. We 
Bumble cloud. I thought this was a drawer. Anyway, so we have a safe there. Um, just these are drawers. Um, three drawers. The safe is here. It's kind of like this guy's. Um, the closet space. We have iron. Um, this is, I believe this is a pull-out couch. So it could turn into a bed. And then you have these two little things right here. Um, a little table. I guess you could sit and eat. They gave us this welcome drink. Which I believe is a rum punch. And this is the bed. TV. Dresser with all the storage space. I believe this is a refrigerator. Mini fridge. I believe there's nothing in there because this hotel is not all inclusive. You get two bottles of water. For ice, we're not gonna be using any of these stuff. Um, cup is kind of dusty. Hmm. Okay. Coffee bar and just drawers. I think everything else is just drawers. Yeah. Hopefully, I know how to open this. I think so. And this is our view. So we got we have a pool room, something like that. So beautiful here. Wow. It's like the infinity pool. I'm gonna show you guys more around. This is more of the um this is more of the room tour. Santa there no no no. Ah, it's just so majestic here. It's so majestic here. Oh my gosh. Fit number one. It's just this blue dress from Shein. And we're going to this restaurant called La Pearl La Blue. Something like that. I'll show you guys. So I'll see you at the restaurant because we are starving and everyone is hungry and hungry. All right. is from Shein. The hair is from Shein. Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my food. I just keep recording because I look so cute. Well, I think I look so cute. Um, lighting is bomb. Look at the backdrop though. Whoa. The backdrop for me. Which one is cute? We got grilled chicken with mashed potato and some type of sauce. Babe got Thai beef. But what? And I guess it comes with rice. Mom got. I guess that's snapper, but I think they take the skin off like that. I don't know what it is anyway. Snapper with shrimp and jasmine rice. Wow, it's so pretty. traveling all day I call it a night because tomorrow we're going um, on a we're going on a boat so we're just gonna prepare for that in addition to us being tired like I said we decided to just call it a night early it's literally like 9 30 um, so I came in you know freshen up and I put my pajamas on and I'm just gonna prepare for tomorrow and I got my curlers in because if you guys haven't seen my hair the way how it's supposed to look yet. So 
So hopefully some more of these work, even though I didn't do it tight enough. Hopefully it comes out right, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So I woke up to a surprise. Not one that I'm excited that I'm excited about because I woke up to all these lashes on the bed. It's day two. I got my lashes done Thursday. No, <laughs> Wednesday. What is this? And then a lot of them already fell out already. I'm just kind of just like bummed out. Like one of my eyes are just like, I don't know if you guys can see, this eye is almost bald. And then this one is full. Anyway, so today is the birthday. Today's my mom's birthday. She's in her room getting ready. Um, I'm going to try to get her a surprise. I'm going to try to do it today in front of that. So we leave off for the boat and then when we come back, no, I'm when we when I when we're gonna leave out, I'm gonna try to pay and then ask if they could have it when we come back because we're gonna be gone for like six hours. They could have her room decorated for her birthday. And then come back. Let's see how that goes. So much, I realized that because but you're trying to take like cover with her stuff like that. Okay, my husband's gonna come get me, but I probably should hide that. <laughs> She's like, don't fall in the water. <laughs> One, I forgot my sunglasses. That sucks. Two, I brought my film camera and tell me why there's no film in it. Even though it said seven, even though seven wasn't going to be enough, at least I would have had seven. Right? There's not even seven. There's none whatsoever. And then I didn't bring a new pack and I have like 60 at the hotel. But yeah, anyway, speaking of that, so the reason why I didn't bring it is because I was rushing because I thought we had to get to get here by 10. And I do think we could have got here by 10. But they, they were talking about, oh, you got to check in at 9.30. So then I had to leave 30 minutes early so I didn't get to have breakfast. And I didn't get to pack my bag properly. So that's pretty much what's happening today. But at least I have my camera, and I, which means I could bring you guys with me. And we're still gonna have fun. It's my mom's birthday day. Let me show you guys her. All right, let's go see her. Birthday girl. <laughs> That's mad funny. She, this is literally sums her up. She's very chaotic. Just did her hair. She's so chaotic. Hey girl. Happy birthday. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, This is my first time doing my makeup since I came. Um, primer. I don't want to talk too much. Like I'm just gonna do it. It's not a makeup tutorial. Like so, it was my mom's birthday today, and she wanted to go on a boat for her birthday. Like she's been saying this since like last year that she wanted to go on a boat. It's her first time on a boat, 
and it was super fun for me but she was sick like the entire time not the entire time but like half the time she was just like super sick she was just like she doesn't drink but she was drinking a lot a lot of liquid like she had gatorade she had cups and cups and cups of water she had cups and cups of she just had so much to drink like i think that's what like sped up her um being so sick by the way i'm using um my maybelline fit me paired with my um nars light reflecting foundation um so yeah she was just really sick and she never got into the water so we had like three stops we had to go snorkeling and stuff like that and listen if you know me you know that you can nobody could pay me enough to go in water Listen, I was out in that water besides the last stop. And the only reason is because the water was really, really cold. And like, I was kind of exhausted because like, I'm going to be very honest. It took a lot out of me. Um, the snorkeling, I feel like it was, it took like a lot of energy because like, we were going from like this spot to this spot to the rocks, to here, to here. Was, like we were covering a lot of um, space. So, it took a while and it took the energy out of me so by the third stop the snorkel i couldn't do it and it's crazy because they said that was the best stop it had a sub submarine um a shipwreck and an airplane underwater i guess i was in cancun we went on a similar boat boat trip and we did all this stuff too and i just couldn't pay me like me and like uh, so all the people were like the only people on the boat along with the Abbey, I went with Abbey. We were like the only people left on the boat. Everybody went snorkeling but us. And I said to myself, you know what? This is never gonna happen again. It did happen on a few other trips, obviously. When I went to DR, I didn't do it because I just didn't do it because I didn't learn how to swim. But the girl started swimming lessons earlier this year and the swimming lessons paid off. Like. Not only did I learn to swim, but like I have confidence in the water. Do well, I look like this? Anyway, I'm already super tan. I don't know if you guys can see it. So my makeup is already not matching. That's why this is important on vacation. I only wear this on vacation because it's like two shades darker. A shade or two darker and it brings my makeup down back to like whatever tan shade I am on vacation. I don't know if I'm gonna do my under eyes bright today. I don't know. I'm using the Born This Way by Too Faced concealer. I'm not gonna put, be putting too much. So I just did my. I'm spending on my concealer, and. I feel like it looks weird on camera. I really hate how it looks on camera. But in the, I could be wrong. Let me go closer. It's not that bright, but I'm just playing it safe tonight. Um, let's come Listen, I'm so tired right now. This contour stick might not even be effective. Not even I just like dip the contour so messy. Hopefully it doesn't make it look sharp. Be back when it's blended up. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's just too ruggedy for me. Raggedy, whatever it's called. Rugged. Ouch. Almost already freaking hit my feet. I'm gonna refer my feet to see how many times I'm going to my ankle. I'm already halfway here, sir. Why? I thought you said to come. ready to give up. My knees are already hurting. Let's go back. Let's see. I'm just recording to see if I could someone just my ankle or something. So I could blame him. That's not enough to get me to walk up there. Steep hill, so. Yeah, no. All right, there you have it, guys.
my hair because like this is falling out i don't know if you guys can see it but like one of my track is showing but i don't really care um i'm gonna need to rewrap it up here because this is moving and then i hopefully this has waves and this does good when i braid it like the first time when i did my hair and i braided it it was really good like it gets a really nice wave um my hair is just crazy from all the water water stuff from yesterday i'm about to go water again I might not let me show you we just stopped at, all right so the atv we had a couple stops i think this is our last stop which is the lunch stop and beach stop and then we ride back i think hopefully we ride back because like where the atv starts is literally five minutes four minutes walk from our hotel oh my god my camera please don't fall please don't fall please don't fall i'll just take you up let me show you where we at this really cute beach oh wait it has like these little swings but like the, the wind just like twisted around it was facing the other way i think it's slowly gonna come around anyway the beach is so nice i'm hungry i'm starving and i didn't want a fries game with the burgers i wouldn't have ordered that so you now we have three things of fries one thing of fries could go for both of us babe any how you step on this i'm gonna step on it you stepped on it? No, what is that? You're gonna get tetanus. I have a tetanus shot. Um, on a, two, two months ago after the um, ATV crash in Tulum. It's a rusty, right? Yeah, anyhow. <laughs> it's a rusty nail tennis. down there. <laughs> I know. Bag. It's a towel. But like, it could just flip it over and like pull the string and it turns into like a bag. Like, two, like a little backpack. It has two straps. Look. Let's go, girl. district tonight so it's gonna be like the first real party like we lunch yesterday was partying we lunch was partying but like we only stayed for like an hour 30 minutes we're not gonna stay long tonight either but hopefully we get to experience a little bit more partying partying hardcore party yo 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 
yo, 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 yo. This morning we're going up. It's like 1 1 p.m. right now. It's like afternoon, but I haven't seen you guys all morning since yesterday since we went to the party to the club um, I'll tell y'all about that later or I'm gonna put the videos in but we're going to Roxy Beach Club and we're walking down the strip oh I'm going to um, my home market which is like a supermarket that has like a lot of stuff and I'm gonna be buying batteries for my Polaroid camera and then later we're probably going to like a like a party or something I don't know yet or we're we just gonna come back to the resort and just have some time at the at the hotel because we haven't had any time at the hotel yet. Like we don't spend any time at the hotel. Get this one. This one is the most conceited person I know. Right Back at the resort, we're just chilling. Like I said, I knew that this was what we were gonna end up doing. It's a calm day. We haven't had a calm day since we came. Just realized I never showed y'all around the resort. Besides like the pool and the room Lighting look like this. Anyway, we are at in the hotel lobby, going for dinner at Bamboo House. I I think this thing is about to break. And I also think my I need to clean my camera. I can see a smear on it. Um, I'm just waiting on a cab to come pick us up to go to Bamboo House to have dinner. It's just me and my boyfriend tonight. Thank you. Show them how it's done, babe. This 
Really? Yo, y'all just missed that, but he said it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yummy. I need to stop talking. For some reason, it won't cut all the way through. It's probably be a bone. This guy feels really juicy. Maybe you should have some of mine and I'll have some of yours, yeah? Good morning, y'all. So today is day fifth, and I feel like this is like my first time in a long time checking in. It's not even morning, first of all. It's afternoon. It's like it's about to be one, and we're going to Topper's Rum Tour, which is like, I mean, obviously it's a rum tour. They give you like a little background and history and stuff like that, and show you how they make their rum and all that. So. That should be interesting. So let's go. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing today. Um, feeling a little island girlish. So I'm wearing Prince. Prince is not really my thing, but let's see. So this is it. I just got the matching sandals. It just has a little split here. It is cute. Like I said, it's vacation, so you just have to switch it up. Let's see. Let's go. So, rum is made from sugarcane in the 1600s. St. Martin was famous of the sugarcane. They were boiling the sugar cane to get the cane sugar out of the sugar cane. In that process, you will get a racing byproduct, a black sticky substance. But in the 1600s, they thought that was garbage because they only needed the sugar out of the sugar cane. So that racing byproduct, that garbage, was filled inside a big barrel. When the barrel was full, lit on top, they pulled outside as garbage. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't know in this back then, at least a half of that racing byproduct was sugar. So then the hot Caribbean sun will start naturally ferment that racing byproduct. Then one day a crazy guy opened the lid from a barrel and instead of a black sticky substance he saw a crystal clear sticky substance. Yes? <laughs> so people are curious, he tried a few finger licks and after a few finger licks he was drunk. <laughs> yes? Yeah, I think from the second row. Yes. So then he was drunk, and from that moment he knew he could make alcohol from that racing byproduct. machine you guys have never seen in your life <laughs> yes I got so when it's hot enough I'm gonna hold it close to the red seal and immediately the seal will melt around the red seal <laughs> then I'm gonna spin my bottle around and now 
I have one sealed bottle of rum. Oh, oh the rum's a rum So we're now going to Pineapple Pea um, for lunch slash, I don't know what it is. It's about 3 p.m. So whatever you eat at 3 p.m. is what we're going to do. Let's go. Hmm? Really? He's gonna go find a doggy. He saw a doggy. Louis, if you're seeing this, he saw a doggy and he's gonna go see him. That. Souvenir shop. Kinda underwhelming. If I do say so myself. Oh my god, it's a please do not touch, ask for help, but like we touched and we picked up our own stuff. And then I, and then in the beginning, like when we board, when we were boarding the plane, I realized I said that I was gonna tell you guys a story time of how we almost didn't make it. So I'm just gonna make it quick, sweet, and short. In summary, so you know, like when when I went to Cancun, like the R and stuff, they they would like I don't know who it is, like their tourism people or whatever, or immigration people would email you like, oh, fill out this form, 72 hours, 24 hours, whatever the case may be, before you plan to board the plane to get there. So apparently St. Martin, St. Martin has, I don't know if St. Martin and St. Martin have it, but to enter the island, you have to fill it out at least 12 hours prior. I don't know how I would have known. I literally have emailed the immigration people because I needed to make sure that I have all my travel documents to get into the country. So I, ha I have emailed them and asked them about everything that I need to enter the country. They never told me that, one. Two, I never received an email. I go on Expedia, there was this COVID restriction thing and I clicked on it, I read all of it not there it's like how would we have found it so we didn't receive the form thing to fill out 12 hours prior so we didn't do it so when we get to the airport it was like two hours before our flight um they were like yeah you can't board your flight all three of us can't board our flight until we have the confirmation and we have to pay for our travel insurance so you know we scrambled around and we did it really quick when we finish that thing it says it takes up to 12 hours to be approved like our flight is in two hours hello 12 hours so you know they gave us a number to call i started calling it the office was open so nobody was picking up long story short you know i kept calling kept calling it was nine our flight was supposed to start boarding like 50 minutes um they finally picked up i was like can you guys accept or immigration whatever it's called and they did so like i got literally mine came through like two minutes after i filled it out i refreshed my email and mine came through so i got approved really quick i don't know if it was automatic approval but i got that really quick my mom and my boyfriend kept doing it 30 minutes passed they still didn't do it so i finally got through to them and they um approved it one by one i gave them the passport number and they approved it literally when so they got to check in before that when i was supposed to check in literally it was two minutes before they um they cut off um to drop your bags and the lady that was checking me in her thingy ran out of receipts to print the bag tag so 
she was scrambling around like she went to the little you know the little kiosk she was just going all over trying to get my backpack like oh my god oh my god oh my god she got it literally the last minute Break.